Okay. Good morning, all friends. So this is our second case, second live case this morning. So we just finished one very complex PCI for this lab's main trifocal lesion. Now it's time for Tavi case. Uh, Dr. Zhang now is a leader of structural heart disease in my department. Uh, so I think there will be very important case, sure, to introduce the power to do TAVI, particularly in the scenario in China. So Dr. Zhang, go ahead. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Chen. Can you show me the slides? Let me introduce uh, this information. The first slide. So uh, today we prepare a uh, TAVI case for typical uh, a uh, BAV case, it's a bicuspid aortic stenosis. Next slide. So let me introduce to my teams. So a uh, professor where he is a prime, a prime operator and uh, my team, including uh, Dr. Hong, Dr. Zhu and uh, Dr. Gao. In terms of the echocardiography is uh, Dr. Zhang Juan. Uh, this was a uh, 65 year females, uh, BMI only 20. It's a uh, low body uh, females. Next. So this patient was admitted with recurrent chest pain for six months. Actually, it's a uh, 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 quite a younger patient, only 65 year old. So this patient has no comorbidity. Antipro BMT was uh, normal, and the EGFI is also normal, ECG show normal. So after we calculate the FT score, only 2.75 cent, it's a low risk patient. So let me show you the uh, baseline uh, TTE echo. So from the echo, you can see it's a typical uh, bicuspid valve. And also with a severe aortic stenosis, the velocity maximum is a 4.2. And the main gradient is a 41 uh, millimeter mercury. According to the area of aortic valve is 0 0.8 centimeter square. In terms of the LVEF is normal, uh, 65%. Uh, left ventricular diameter, uh, diastolic diameter is smaller, uh, only uh, 45 millimeter. In terms of the pulmonary artery systolic pressure, a little high, 42 millimeter mercury. So you can see it's a typical BAV case. Then let me show you the uh, CT analysis. Uh, it's uh, quite important for these patients uh, valve siding. In terms of very important anatomy, annulus uh, um, diameter is uh, 21. In terms of LVOT diameter, uh, five millimeter level is only uh, 2.7 millimeter. And you can see it's a typical uh, BAV case with uh, calcification, not so severe. Next. In terms of coronary obstruction risk, uh, considering it's a uh, uh, um, bicuspid valve, actually the sinus of Vasava is quite big. The lens, the diameter is a 20, uh, 28 by uh, 34. So it's large enough. And also the corner high is all above the uh, 10 millimeter. That's above the level of aneurys. So there is uh, no risk of the coronary obstruction. Next. Uh, for the angle, the aortic root angle is uh, 52. And in terms of calcium uh, is uh, less than 100. Uh, so it's, uh, I think it's an ossification. And also you can see the aortic, ascending aortic uh, diameter is uh, uh, 30, uh, 43, uh, a little enlarged, but still less than uh, 45 millimeter. Next. So uh, in terms of the peripheral artery, you can see the uh, elite, uh, femoral artery diameter is uh, 6.3 millimeter. It's uh, not enough uh, for us to use the uh, femoral artery. And another important anatomic character is the uh, aortic arc angle. You can see only uh, 62 degree. It's quite small. So as this scenario, so we should be very cautious when we advance the the self-expanding, it's a long stem valve uh, across uh, the aortic arc. So considering we should avoid the injury, the uh, ascending uh, aorta, which we decided to use the snare facilitating the valve device crossing the aortic arc. 
Next. So finally, our uh, procedural strategy, according to the uh, CT analysis, so we decided to treat this patient uh, with a heavy procedure. We will use a general anesthesia uh, with a T guidance, considering it's a typical BAV case. So with a T uh, guidance, we, we are uh, precisely uh, uh, implantation the valve deep, uh, depth. And also we were from the uh, right femoral approach. Uh, we will use uh, 20 balloon, uh, do the predilation, then followed by uh, 23 millimeter. Tonus Elite self-expand valve, it's a domestic uh, uh, valve. Oversize ratio is a uh, 1.16 with a snare facilitating aortic arc forcing. So that's uh, case information and also the uh, our strategy. Uh, thank you. Uh, Professor, yeah. Yeah, after a brief introduction about the case, the patient is only 65 years female with a bicuspid aortic valve. So I think there are multiple points we need to discuss. The first is that a, according to the registration in China, so the bicuspid aortic valve is much more common than Western people. So uh, Dr. Zhang, do you provide the data about the percentage of bicuspid aortic valve in China, China in Chinese population? Actually, uh, so far, uh, we, we don't have the national uh, screen data about the bicuspid valve. I, I think uh, maybe very similarly to the West country. But as you mentioned, in terms of the uh, TAVI procedure, the bicuspid valve aortic stenosis is extremely high. Um, according to our uh, national data, it's up to uh, forty percent. Comparing with the uh, West country data, uh, ma a majority less than uh, ten percent. So usually, uh, by CT scanning or uh, echo paleograph, so there are some features about the bicuspid aortic valve. First one is very less severely calcification. Uh, in this case. Secondly, the patient could be classified by low risk, right? So from part one, part one to part three, so the TAVI comparison between TAVI and the SAVI has been published, published in a few years ago. So do you have any suggestion about the procedure or surgery operation for such a kind of a particular case? Yeah, very, very important uh, questions. So according to the guideline, is a uh, ACCA tray and uh, uh, Chinese uh, TAVI procedure guideline. I think uh, for other patients aged older than 75 years old, I think uh, nowadays, uh, according to the uh, uh, randomized studies, uh, TAVI is superior to a uh, SAVI procedure in terms of uh, reduced uh, mortality stroke. However, when the age between 65 to 75, according to the guideline, I think, uh, in our center, we follow the guideline. We have a hard, dis hard team discussion. Uh, actually, it's a low risk. For this case, I think uh, uh, savvy is, of course, can supply very good long-term result. But another important thing is, uh, is uh, the cultural reasons, because in, in China, a lot of patients are reluctant to receive uh, uh, open heart surgeries. So for this case, it's a typical Chinese case. So we not, not only have our hard team discussion, Either SAVA or TAVA is suitable for this case. We're also discussing with this patient. If patient insistent, insistent that they would like to uh, treat it with a uh, heavy procedure for this uh, low risk patient. Yeah, because TAVA is still an emerging technique for patients with aortic stenosis in China, but not in Western countries. We don't have much more comprehensive long term clinical follow up about the difference in terms in clinical outcomes between several and the travel for patient at low risk, right? Yeah. But uh, so long as the travel can achieve the very similar result as to the travel, so I think it could be acceptable. So after the introduction of the case, I think Dr. Zhang Jian uh, have some points to discuss. Okay. Um, Rob, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Actually, from the TEE from this patient, the patient is a typically um, bicuspid aortic valve and type uh, zero. 
and there is uh, almost no calcification. And there is minimal, maybe minimal calcification between the commissural of the two bicarbs. And uh, the uh, aortic valve uh, circumference is um, mirrored by the semi-automatic uh, software is by echo is uh, almost 69 millimeters. Yeah. And there's almost no uh, aortic valve re regurgitation. Yeah. And we can see uh, the ascending aorta is quite dilated and the diameter is almost 44 to 45 uh, millimeter. And uh, the um, left ventricular is quite small and uh, the left, left ventricular wall is quite thickening and there's almost no um, mitral regurgitation. Yeah. This is the uh, uh, TEE information for this patient. So the consistent finding between angiography and cardiac echo is a very less aortic regurgitation. Yes. So it's a pure aortic stenosis. Yes. So Chinjie, what's your next step? Yeah, for this case, our strategy, just as I mentioned and introduced, uh, I have a, a cross the wire uh, from the uh, stenotic aortic valve. And now you can see I have uh, put uh, the peak here at the left ventricular. As you, you can see from the screen, the uh, gradient between the uh, aortic uh, root and the, the left ventricular is uh, more than 40 millimeter mercury. It's a typical uh, severe aortic stenosis. So it's because a very severe uh, aortic stenosis with a high grade of pressure gradient between LV and uh, aorta. Uh, so my first question, uh, what's a first, first line of wire to cross the valve? Yeah, let me show you the uh, last screen. I I recorded my uh, my wire across the uh, stenotic aortic valve. Actually, I use uh, call this uh, a straight uh, stiff wire. Uh, my colleague, uh, firstly, uh, use uh, M plus left, M plus left one to facilitate uh, cross uh, the valve, but fair. Uh, uh, I think uh, M plus one is uh, smaller, considering it's a large aortic root. So then I uh, change the big size uh, classic M plus uh, left uh, two. After that, you can see I successfully uh, concentrate the uh, the classic tip to the to stenotic aortic area and uh, advance uh, the stiff wire, uh, straight stiff wire into the uh, left ventricular. So what are the tips and the pitfalls for uh, uh, across the aortic valves? I think the most important you should select the right size of the passage. For enlargement to aortic root, I think you will choose M plus uh, left two. For normal size uh, aortic root, M plus left one is a regular passage. So after successful accessing aortic valves, so you keep wire in the airway and you change the wire <laughs> to pigtail. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, the prof just as you mentioned, it's a routine uh, a practice that we changed uh, with a pigtail with a uh, routine wire. Yeah. According to the slides showing the uh, systolic pulmonary arterial pressure before the procedure, it was a 42 millimeter mercury. Uh, so according to the experience and uh, limited data, so how important of the baseline uh, systolic pulmonary arterial pressure in predicting the clinical outcome? I think it's a very important uh, um, issues. Uh, according to the uh, data and also uh, our center, actually the baseline, I think uh, right heart catheter uh, information is quite important. Uh, like uh, uh, pulmonary hypertension and also the PVR. If this patient has a, a, a PVR uh, larger than uh, a three uh, root, I think uh, this is a very strong independent predictor of this uh, patient uh, uh, prognosis after procedures. That means we should treat the, this, uh, uh, this kind of patient as early as possible. If too late to enter the uh, a fourth stage, even we successfully treated uh, this patient with heavy procedure, but uh, the long-term uh, 
uh, outcomes is quite uh, quite bad. Mm. So basically, uh, except for the measurement of pulmonary arterial pressure, did you routinely uh, measure the pulmonary vascular resistance DVR? Yeah, actually, uh, as um, this case we should do a uh, pulmonary uh, PCWP, but uh, for this case, uh, we we have to do. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Uh, Given the pigtail cancer in the airway, mm -hmm. so what's your next step? Yeah, next step, let me show you. I will start my procedure, uh, Professor. So I will uh, insert uh, the lung crest wire. It's a support wire, very, very strong support of the, the, the valve device crossing into the airway valve. So you can see I, this is a not pre shipped wire. So I use uh, uh, this cassette to, to ship the wire. There is a, uh, the curve to facilitate the, the wire stage just at the apex of the ventricular and uh, supply a uh, strong support. It's a pre shift. It's a, by a manufacturer or by yourself? By myself. Okay. Okay. Cool. So if we permit, I will go ahead do the procedure. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So routinely, I will use uh, AP Codal View uh, to insert uh, the land crest wire into the left ventricular. IO Codal or AP Codal? Uh, yeah, uh, IO Codal, yeah, it's better. You can see it's a quite a smaller left ventricular. You can see after we insert the land crest wire, it was compressed by the left ventricular. At this time, we, we should be very cautious, monitor the hemodynamic, because after wire close the uh, leaflet, mm -hmm. sometimes we have cause severe uh, aortic regurgitation. So Dr. Zhang Juan, can you show, because the BP is low, can you show the echo or uh, uh, real time? Is there any regurgitation? Yes, uh, regurgitation increased, maybe because of the tear, yeah. Okay. So, so then I will uh, use a 20 uh, millimeter balloon to do the predilation for this uh, particular case. So do you need to predilate aortic valve for AS patient? Yeah, for this case, I will do. Because uh, if we uh, we don't do, I think maybe the when we uh, do the valve implantation, the valve will very uh, easily to to die diving into the left vascular. So it depends on the severity of calcification. Yeah, especially for a uh, bicuspid valve, yeah. I think this is a very good point. So oh, you see, not so easy cross. So another pigtail cancer localized as a aortic root, just beyond the valve level. Yeah, keep the wire. Also easy cross. So I think uh, maybe I need uh, the uh, change the wire. You can see there is the tip of the wire. There is angle. I will change the wire. And then maybe I need uh, the the snare to facilitate the. The balloon cross because uh, the angle of the aortic root is a uh, fifty-two. Yeah, because so, the wide angle, yeah. So it could be difficult to advance the balloon, right? So, that's 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 a point, yeah. So why do you use the snare? Uh, to snare, I think we are with the snare's uh, support, we can change the angle to facilitate it in the balloon, uh, and the, the valve cross. Uh, uh, aortic, uh, stenotic aortic valve. So you can see the angle is is quite quite big. So the so tip of the wire, I think, is a little damaged. So I will change a new wire. Actually, you can see the narrowing is quite severe. It's not so easy. Yeah? It's very quite a lot of resistance. You see. Okay. Because of very less regurgitation. Yeah. Maybe I I need a, a smaller balloon. Yeah. 
So if possible, please give me a smaller balloon. So it's a tiny balloon maybe be still, uh, still too large for cross this uh, stenotic aortic uh, valve. So please give me a new uh, lung request wire. And I will facilitate this. At this time, I will, I will Yeah, I I will put the kick tear into the left ventricular apex. Then please give me a uh, lung request to new wire. I will, will ship to the wire tip. So this uh, this new wire would provide a very strong support. Yeah, but it's very stiff. Very stiff. So the so is there any a risk to get the perforation. Yeah, yeah. The the most stiff wire is the uh, I think the high risk of perforation if the the second operator and uh, not the hold the wire there will be there will be risk in uh, the left ventricular operation, especially for enlargement uh, left ventricular. So when I advance the device into the left ventricular, the the second operator should hold the wire. It's very, very important. So this is the intro procedure complication. Yeah. Before implementation of a valve. Yeah. So I made the curve. Mm. The curve should be compatible with the left ventricular mm. size. A little bit sharp. Yeah. So you have one more question. Oh, After right. wire in the RF, why the regurgitation became more severely? Uh, because the wire maybe press the leaflet of the valves. So the leaflet cannot uh, close to each other. So there's a leak maybe, yeah. So increase the regurgitation problem. Yeah. yeah. I will still uh, use this uh, previous uh, 20 millimeter from try to cross the dynotic valve with a, with a snare to facilitate the cross. Uh, please uh, change the angle. I go to the MG, pause, go to the wire. By using snare? Yeah, I will use do you, do you still want to downside the balloon for pre-dilation? Yeah, if this uh, balloon cannot close, I will use a smaller balloon. And uh, just you mentioned the downsize maybe a, uh, Key or 16, 80 or 16, yeah. Because the pre balloon is quite long. Yeah. So it's not easy to cross very severely the stenotic wall. Hold on. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we we'll try. For some cases, it will be not much more easily to to catch the wire. Mm -hmm. Still, you see, I need a small size. Yeah, balloon. Oh. Please give me a sixteen. Do you have a small size balloon? Sixteen in diameter. Oh, yeah. So another, I think we can put it to the same lateral side. Yeah. So by CT scanning, the diameter of right femoral artery uh, is around seven millimeter in diameter. Yeah, six, uh, the minimal uh, lumen diameter is uh, uh, 60 
uh, six points three millimeter. Yeah. So please give me the uh, eighteen. It's the eighteen millimeter balloon. Sixteen. Okay. Okay. It's good. It's smaller size. So I put a snare at the same side. Mm. Uh, just uh, uh, showing the loose, mm. loose the tension. Okay. Okay. Then I think the camera put on put on focus on the table. Okay, for the wire. Okay. Keep the wire. Keep the wire. Yeah. We see now the tip float. Smaller. Yeah, good. Very good. For the wire. Okay, so at these times, I think uh, a more AIO, more AIO, so, so. Okay. okay. So my uh, second operator where hold the snare and the change the angle, hold the snare, change the angle, or lo lose tension. Advanced wire. Yeah, uh, you see quite a lot of resistance. You see, we successfully close, mm. but it's not so easy. At this time, I will lose. Uh... So it's, uh, it's a successful... okay. You okay. mm. I successfully with the snare facilities in the balloon cross. Then we still go to the LAO, LAO 21, Arena 24 degree angle. No, no. LAO crane view. We are separated the two leaflets. LAO crane So change it all. Yeah. Zhang Jian, can you lift up the. Many, many. Box the balloon um, cross the box very asymmetric through the posterior. Side of the commercial. Okay, sure. So it means the balloon in a very good position. Yes. Okay. Then we start the rapid pacing. Be careful. Less, uh, less screen view. Yeah, up the table. Mm, that's good. Go. Change the table. Okay. okay rapid pacing. 118. Passing on, passing on. Okay. Okay. Good. The balloon was fully handy. So usually, how long do you? How long duration of inflation? I think uh, at the most uh, five millimeters. It piss off, right? Piss off, yeah. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Recovery from ABB to sinus rhythmal. That's a long time. Be careful, do I? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. The BP recovered. Uh, the pressure, pressure is going up. Yeah. Zhang Jian, do you need to recheck the change of the electric valve? So, uh, actually, I think the movement of the leaflet is increased. And uh, the repetition, the amount of the repetition is also increased. But the 
But the patient before the TAVI, the patient has no reputation and the LV is sick and small. So maybe uh, not uh, standard the circulation, but the, 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 the reputation are long stand. So maybe the valve should be implanted quickly. Yeah. Okay. I think this is a normal consequence of the pre dilation using yeah. balloon. So the now, occurrence of aortic regurgitation is inevitable. So Jinjie, after pre dilation <clears throat> using small balloon, do you want to upsize the balloon to do more dilation or not? Mm, I would try to the, because hemodynamic is okay. Mm. I would still uh, use a country balloon to do the pre dilation which will facilitate our valve cross. So, 20 balloon. Hold the wire. You see, still very difficult. Mm. The angle is quite large. I still need the. So please get uh, Please uh, go to the AP codo. I still need a. I think we need a, the snare. Snare, yeah. But at this time, you see the wire. The the shape is not so good, but you cannot get a good support. At this time, our as exchange with the ticket here and reship the wire again. Be careful. So still have very strong resistance. Yeah. So please give me the ticket here. Snare training is very important during travel procedure. Yes, especially for self self expandable valve or long long stem valve. So can you predict the difficulty in uh, pushing the valve in after mm -hmm. multiple pre dilation? Yeah, mm -hmm. I can decrease the, the AP codal, IO codal. You see, yeah, yeah, because the uh, left ventricular is quite small, so you can see sometimes very difficult to advance the valve. Now the shape is not so good. Uh, in terms of safety, I will reshape the wire tip of if you permit. Mm. Zhongjian, how about the regurgitation right now? Mm -hmm. Now it's moderate to severe, but, uh, but the regurgitation is accurate. So <laughs> should be careful, yeah. Okay. So this is a wire, the same to the second wire. Yeah.
no, 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 So you always need to simultaneously push a snail and a balloon, yes? I think you got it, yeah. Okay, okay. we successfully snail. Okay, so at this time, because you see the angle is quite large, so you should uh, snare, hold the snare, cast it, change the angle, please hold the wire. You see, quite a large angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, we successfully. <laughs> Not so easy. Mm, congratulations. Okay. Okay, rapid pacing. Pacing on. So now the pacing rate is 180. Okay, this is 20 balloon. Stop pacing, pacing off. Okay. This game is a... <clears throat> how to sink the inflation. So the re recovery from LBB, so the sinus rhythm is uh, quite quick. Yeah. So now uh, the reputation is severe, Pro. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And, uh, so it should be. Yeah. The, the fusion <clears throat> commissioner is open. Yeah. So, so the. So, can we submit this as a valve? Can we submit this as a valve? Good. Very good. Now I, we will quickly insert to the valve. Hold the wire, please. At this time, I think, uh, considering it's a... Uh, the wire is in apex, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, quite a lot of resistance. Mm, cannot, yeah, we should, uh, yeah. Remove the pewter. Re remove the pewter, yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. We should remove the pewter first. Please call the wire. Why? Because there is a lot of large elapses can simultaneously mm -hmm. accumulate to the first. We should insert the mm -hmm. insert diameter is small, smaller, yeah, <clears throat> because it's a female. So, oh, this is six French or five French. You wear for that. So we will change a uh, smaller because uh, the uh, multiple procacity is a uh, six French. So we we'll change a smaller uh, mm -hmm. four French. <laughs> six French is too big. Yeah, and not simultaneous accumulate. MP one, uh, MP six, uh, four French. Five, five is okay. Five is fine. Good. Oh, yeah. no. Okay, good. Very good. Then hold the wire, please. Then I advance. Still not easy? Yeah, I think that, that is easy. They're not touching. The wire. Yeah. 
you a single lot of resistance. Oh, good. And I think. Angiographically, the angle has been modified much more. Yeah. Mm. But the angle between descending and the ascending delta mm. is uh, very okay. sharp. Mm. Okay. Okay, good. Loose. Okay. You see, I simultaneous insert. <laughs> Not so easy. Okay, hold the wire. Very narrow space. Yeah, very narrow space. Okay. Very good, very good. That one has a For some case, for example, for let's say 65 years old lady. So do you think puncture the left side is another option? Yeah. Yeah, here, then we hold it. No, a few more. Okay, good. Hold it. Okay, good. Then we simultaneous advance. Mm. Please hold the wire. Advance the wire just uh, at the uh, apex. You more support. So we can little bit of push the wire digitally. Yeah. So go to the area, yeah, good. Because the angle is quite smaller, we should be very cautious. So at this time, uh, the, you should, uh, yeah. Uh, out cheese is very slick. At this time, we should advance more distal. So the, so the whole system looks like very similar to the stand graph. Yeah. Angle is smaller, mm -hmm. we should be cautious. Please, why? I think why? Is the wire? Because uh, we are damaged. No. Also, the sanction. You see? No, no, no. Just one minute. Mm. Pushing balls now. Yeah. So it's a tough case. I will advance the snare to the tip. Mm. At the tip, of it, maybe there is a. Okay. I want to loose. Okay, good. So. Yeah, here is good. Mm. That is good. That is quite a lot of resistance. Then go to the APIO auto. I, I will adjust the wire tip. I think wire is a... Hello? Do you still have time? Okay, call. Hey. We should put in two. Hello, guys, there. Oh, I'm sorry. So can we still have two or three more minutes? Because this is a very, very important step to put the valve in. See? Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank Good. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, now you are successfully across the valve using the valve. Yeah. OK. The test, please. Yes, then define the appropriate position. No, no, no. Mm. So I think this, uh, this step is very important, Jinji. Can you explain how to define the position? Yeah, at this time, I think in terms of the bicuspid, actually, sometimes very difficult to do this with the uh, 
uh, GE, we can see clearly this view is very important, separate to the uh, bicuspid. Let me take a picture at this time. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay. Can we start to release the valve? So usually how long protrusion of the valve into the LV? I think uh, three millimeter or four millimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, pacing, ready? It's 114. Pacing on. Mm. Okay. Okay, so okay, release. So gently. Very gently, very gradually. To the test, please. The good, very good. So now I feel the protrusion is greater than five millimeters. Yeah, less than, yeah. Yeah, okay. but that the match. Hold it while you're thinking about it. By the dandemat, after almost okay. the two thirds, valve. Good, yeah. Good, release. Good. 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 Yes. Yes. yes, still can retrieve. Mm. Okay, release. Mm. Mm. I think the position is good. What do you think? Mm. I feel good too. Also, no obstruction of the current. Dong Juan, what's the position? Uh, stop pacing. Is it is good, Prof. Yeah. We see too uh, too deep. Deep. Yeah, I feel too deep. Yeah. I, probably oh, you so. need a one millimeter reach. Yeah. We so. Otherwise, there will be high reach of the uh, AV AV block. Yeah, I think we retrieve the valve and the reposition again. Okay. Okay. Release it. Facing 120. Mm. Okay, good. Release. Okay, here is good. Press. Face. Mm. I think this, this is a good position. Very mm. good. Attention okay. is very short. Release. Mm. Sorry, oh, what's sorry, the position? Yeah. Oh, it's better release. now. Yeah. Release. Mm. Mm. Okay. Three to four millimeter depths. Okay. Mm. Release. Sure. What do you think? That's... Should be fine. Okay. Ding ding Good. Good. Seems a little sleepy. Yeah. Good position. Yeah. Position. Yeah. Do you want to take a picture? Yeah. Stop. Stop facing. BP, I put out the uh, wire. Because we only have two more minutes. Okay. So we need to take a photo. Okay, hold the wire, be careful. So usually, Dr. do you plan to do post dilation? Yes, just a minute. I think for this case, I think there are the ways I will do the post dilation. Hmm. Where is this now? Yes, now it's here. Okay. Good. Oh, quick cast. Snare eyes should go out first. Mm. Focus of snail, then yeah. device. Yeah. We should uh, take a picture here first. Mm. Rough, what do you think? Mm. Okay. Okay, good. Mm. Take a photo. Take a photo. 
Let's take a photo. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, John Jian, can you uh, show the echo result? Yeah, and geographically, there is a severe regurgitation. I, I think it's, a, it's central, yeah. it's caused by the wire. There is a, okay. I think there is no PV air for yeah. this case. Okay. Okay. Yes. From the echo, uh, the position is good and the valve is stable and no PV bar. Yeah. Mm. Maybe trivial. <laughs> and there is central. Severe central uh, regurgitation, yeah. Yeah, the, this is because of the wire. The wire. wire yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I think this is very, very successful case of Tavi for a young lady with a bicuspid aortic stenosis. So the whole procedure, whole procedure took almost 45 minutes. So I think it's the time to summarize the a uh, last sentence, uh, Dr. Jinjie, can you go ahead to summarize the whole class? Yeah, thank you, Prof. So uh, for this uh, particular uh, bicuspid uh, uh, stenosis for this low low risk patient, I think uh, the baseline echo and the CT analysis is very important. According to the CT analysis, we should uh, select the, the proper uh, sizing valve. And uh, during procedure, you can see this for this challenger case, Actually, the angle of the aortic root and the LVOT is quite large, which will uh, give us the difficulty to cross the valve into the uh, LV. So with a, a snare support, uh, change the angle, we successfully uh, advance the balloon and the valve into the right position. So after uh, uh, release the valve, you can see the result is good. So for this case, it's a superannuate valve. So compared with the intraannuate valve, I think it can supply and give a, a larger EROA. So for this young patient, I think the EROA is a very important uh, characteristic for this uh, long-term result. Uh, thank you. Thank you for me, for your attention.